Sony Computer Entertainment. We're going to focus on uh, the electronic toy games manufacturing. Um, you can see, like in this industry, it's pretty obvious. It's focusing heavily on the cons games and consoles, and uh, probably everybody knows the major players, the top three: uh, Sony, Microsoft, and uh, Nintendo. Also, there's there's also some like others. Other companies made like small game console like Logitech and Mad Cat, but they're mostly just like uh, portable, um, like small portable game consoles that I take with you. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, Technic, I think probably we can. I think it's easier to just claim this like top three players: Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, because it's it's like pick up the major, like most of the market for console games. Um, so like, uh, since it's console, the, so it focused heavily on the game consoles, uh, the consoles, consoles and games. Um, so, um, <laughs> we can, I think we can simply divide it. The, what, how they compete with each other is uh, what they provide is one is the product, the console itself, the other is the games is support, the, the console support. And most of the games are either designed by the company themselves or they will like, ask other third party uh, developers to develop games for them. Like, so um, here, uh, that's why I like the, the landscape, the competitive landscape is so highly concentrated on these three major players. And here, you can see a chart of the uh, competitive market share. Um, obviously, you can see from data like uh, So here is um, is uh, what the gaming um, for the Sony Computer Entertainment their profit and loss statement from uh, that is a song statement from their 10K. So um, they have uh, you can see like this is their uh, five year this is Sony Corporation uh, store a uh, store price for the past five years. Um, they have some really they have a really low time during around like 2013 from here, you can see. Um, I think that's when they're like spent a lot of time trying to develop their new console maybe. I think the gaming section actually contributed a lot to the their loss, I mean, because they spent a lot of time and energy to develop the new console. Um, However, in their uh, so from here you can see a breakdown of their uh, last year sales. Uh, yeah. Oops. Um, so um, so you can see gaming is actually not a huge portion of the sales from Sony, but it's I think definitely is something Sony spent like. Sony compete a lot with other companies. I can't tell what the color key points for the game, gaming area. Yeah, gaming is the orange. 7.8. Yeah. Um, so, 10 per, almost 10% of their revenue comes from games. Yeah. Uh, while, like, it's only, like, almost 10%. So um, the reason, the reason why, um, one reason because because they have like huge decrease from the chart is also told us they have a huge like given decrease in sales for PS3 and PSP, um, which so like also like PlayStation Vita like so um, we can tell like from its market I mean consumers are not as interested as they are before. 
and because and also the operation income decreased a lot. Utilize this platform to distribute other games because Sony is not as it's not as strong as the in design games. That's my understanding. And in this way it's really low cost because Sony only spent like three eighty million to acquire Gaikai is really a good deal. It's a good strategic investment. Yeah, it's like small like a margin of their revenues to acquire this startup to uh, integrate cloud gaming to their com to their game console. Um, now, when, one of the questions that I have about Gaikai, um, Gaikai was written in a neutral, as I understand it, it was in a, in a, it ran on a server, not on specific hardware, not on Sony hardware. Exactly. Um, so therefore, if it was neutral, if it's generic, do they have the capability of playing games that were authored for Xbox and games that were authored for Wii in the cloud and therefore Gaikai becomes a distributor of content produced for three different consoles under one distributor? Uh, my understanding is uh, actually Sony want to use Gaikai to uh, push the Sony, what's that called? The PlayStation Plus membership services because like basically Sony has, it's like spend out time to promote the PlayStation Plus service. So Sony really like want to push hard on the membership and the sub subscription service that they can provide based on this strategy they're using is create a platform while invite more users to use their subscription term instead of buying games. Um, that's basically my understanding. So um, for cloud gaming, um, there are two types of cloud gaming, game based on video streaming and game based on file streaming. So actually when Sony got Gaikai, uh, there's another option called OnLive. It's, another, it's also another uh, cloud gaming provider, but it's, it, I think it's, it's bankrupt. It's, it's not very successful because it requires to, you to purchase a box in terms of doing uh, the, to, to experience the cloud gaming. And it's the file streaming. Yeah, that's a fast so stream. you have to download the file in order to play it. Yeah, also I think the structure is set up is if you use this, their services, their, um, the process is they're using the box, the, their device to decode the files, which is more hassle, while like Gaikai develop, uh, or like uh, it's only relies on the internet. It runs on Flash. Yeah. Oh, it's not run, it's, it's not, video. it's not actually, if it runs on Chrome, it doesn't even need Flash is only so yeah. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's widely it's widely accepted and the cost is really low. They don't need any devices. That's why like So the, the inter another interesting graphic would be to show all of the H.264 compatible devices now mm -hmm. that could until Gaikai, they could never play a Sony game. But now if they decode video Mm -hmm. They'll be able to connect to this platform and play a Sony game. So that means your Samsung phone, your Samsung pad, your Apple computer, your you know Sony Vio, your whatever it is. If it decodes video, it will be able to play a Sony game. Yeah. Where but right now, in order to play a Sony game, you can only use two devices: a PS2. Or, or PS3 or the yeah. Know, also, you have to download all the games. And you That's have why the physical file with you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, so, mm -hmm. there, so it's not necessarily um, so it's subscription based and multi device. It actually tells us like what the latency. The guy what, is late, what does latency mean? Uh, it's like lag. Lag, yeah. Time between I do something and it happens. Yeah. Okay. So, like, from this chart, I think because Gaikai also is doing, is trying to power its uh, performance based on the GeForce card. Um, so, from this chart, I, c I think we can get a feeling of the Gaikai performance is 
it should be where it says fine for so what you're saying then is if you're at 66 here a physical console and tv the latency has actually matched yeah so now technically the performance should be identical to so if those numbers are correct i can't Try it or prove it, but it's a different approach, yeah. Oh, from some analysis for Gecko. <laughs> okay, so it might be good to, to uh, find the source and go ahead and have the source code. That's a good question. I could teach you mm -hmm. find the source for it again, put it in there. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Because that's a big is issue that we were discussing our earlier in the, ter in the term, Shelly and I, in the class. Yeah. You know, it'll never approach a local gaming TV experience, mm -hmm. but they're offering a different point of view here, specifically. They're saying, yeah. Cloud Gen, you're absolutely right. It was, it was double the speed, it's mm -hmm. not what you want it. And now we're at parity. Mm -hmm. yeah. so what they're saying is that in order to run the, the combination of, when you're playing a video game, in order to see it fully displayed on the screen, interactive and, and the way you're doing it, it's taking between 150 to 200 milliseconds to decode. Then when they put it on the cloud, it's like, oh wow, it took so long, and you know they didn't know what they, etc. So this is what they call the first generation. Right now, the second generation, they come back and they said, well, when you're playing, we're running the measurements, even though we're adding. The game pipeline here, which was direct to in the box, there was nothing in between, right? I put the disc in, it hit the game pipeline, and it came out on the TV. Boom, it was that fast, nothing in between. Now what they're doing is they're saying, for, oh, once they're for, per demo, for the demo day, they displayed to, for any, for the retailers, if they want to demo anything, by using that kind of service. Um, so it's also, this is some, uh, some, some like hard, hard world explanations towards, um, towards Gaikai services, uh, towards like PS4. Um, I think, I think for these services, I feel like Sony still focus more on the, like, the hardcore gamers. Um, that's probably also the major customers for whoever going to purchase PS4, uh, like their consoles. Mm -hmm. So. Also, since they have this new strategy, is 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 where I think it's clear that it's very easy for Sony to develop their like larger base of customers. So, do you think that they're going to divert resources from physical console development towards this platform, or do you think it's an ex do you think it's a replacement play or an expansion play? I think it is an expansion play. So they'll continue to do a PS5. Uh, years from now, and then they'll also be able to play every game on the PS4 on any device with an H.264 video recorder. Um, I think Sony for now, for this new generation of consoles, Sony really want to push really hard on their subscription, which is the online services they have been getting, have they have like uh, increasing revenue from. So do you have a growth chart that shows the decline of console sales compared to the incline of subscription sales? Uh, I don't But I can't find one. Okay, that's, uh, that's the only one, because you, you stated that several times as the key impetus as to mm -hmm. why they're doing it. Yeah. That one's going down, but the other one's going up. But so you can see from the past like chart, like the PS3 sales is decreasing, right? That's where obvious. But that's not necessarily in conjunction with I don't know where the...